Hi guys, this video is going to be about the fundamentals of fighting with sword and buckler. Alright, so get into your basic stance and sword guard, and you want your buckler, you want your arm almost fully extended with a micro bend at your elbow here, and you want to leave a, a tiny gap between your sword and your buckler, so you don't want them touching, but you don't want to leave a huge opening in the middle. Alright, so you want it just enough so you can see over the top of it. If you have a square buckler like this one, kind of use the corner so that you can see around it, and you want it just in front of, or just behind your blade. Alright, so I'm going to talk about some of the key elements for pairing with your buckler. So when you're in your basic buckler stance, if somebody throws a shot underneath your buckler, you parry down. You don't want to rotate a whole lot, you just kind of want to push down and out. And you can use that corner, especially if you're using a square buckler, to kind of slide the blade out of your way. Alright, one of the main reasons that I have the buckler so far in front of me and not back here is because the farther it is away from me, the more time I have between his point passing the edge of my buckler and me. So I have more time to parry it from out here than I do in here when his point reaches the past of uh, the edge of my buckler. I don't have much time to parry it and it's chances are it's going to hit me. So you want to keep your uh, buckler for the most part in most situations out as far as possible. That way you have plenty of time if he throws outside and tries to wrap around my buckler. I've got all this time to parry. All right. So there's a lot of space between the edge of my buckler and me. All right. Another option, especially if I'm being aggressive, what I'll do is stab the edge of my buckler, or the front of my buckler rather, the face, onto his point, and this locks his sword, especially when their basic reaction, their natural reaction, is to come forward with their blade. If I do this, it gets stuck on there really nicely, and it gives me lots of openings for an attack. Alright, so one of the more difficult things to do when you're fighting buckler is defending your head. Obviously, if I throw my buckler in front of my face when he's throwing a shot at my head, I'm blinding myself to what my opponent's doing. Alright, this leaves me open to any second attack that he throws, because I can't see what he's doing. Alright, one of the simplest options when somebody throws at your head is to use your sword instead of your buckler and just keep your buckler here as a second defense in case they keep you uh, keep throwing a shot or throw a second attack. Alright, so you're just defending your head depending on where they're throwing with your sword instead of your buckler. Alright, another option is when they throw the shot, throw the buckler in front but move your head out of the way. Alright, so you can still keep your vision and get a good angle for a second counter attack and just make sure that your buckler is not blocking any of your vision when you're throwing that in front of your face. Also, if somebody is throwing at your foot or leg, all right, you can't really get a good buckler parry on this. You're just going to drive it into your knee or lower shin. All right, so the best option is to parry with your sword instead. All right, so just don't worry about getting your buckler low enough. It's not going to be a good parry. Just use your sword or dodge out of the way with your foot. Use some footwork to get out of the way. But you definitely don't want to try to use the buckler as a defense for your leg. Something to keep in mind when somebody is throwing a shot at you and you're parrying with your buckler is that once you make that first parry, you can keep control of their weapon by sliding your buckler along it. Alright, so even if you've parried with the edge of your buckler, if you push, if you push the buckler into their guard, you're going to have great control and give yourself plenty of opportunities for counterattacks and keep control of your weapon, so keeping yourself safe. Don't just hit it and bounce it off, giving them opportunities to come around and leaving their blade uncontrolled.